Meanwhile, Labor Minister Guo Fangyu faced attacks from legislators over his ministry's failure to put forth a concrete plan of action over the predicted insolvency of a major government health insurance fund for workers. Current projections have the Labor Insurance Fund, which now manages $651.9 billion NT dollars in assets, going broke in about a decade thanks to an ongoing aging trend across Taiwan's population. Labor Minister Guo Fangyu appeared at a question and answer session in the legislature where he discussed the possibility of the Labor Insurance Fund running dry by 2027. <laughs> I think that at this point in time, we should have an open dialogue with the Pension Reform Committee on the substantial issues implicated by proposed reforms. The Labor Ministry didn't seem to have any specific pension reform plan of its own, saying only that it would go along with proposals from the Pension Reform Committee. Some legislators were angered by what they saw as the ministries passing the buck. I think it wasn't necessary to hold today's meeting. If all of these issues are dumped onto the Pension Reform Committee, there may be nothing to talk about in the future. KMT legislator Wang Yumin suggested that local governments are in arrears over their payments into the Labor Insurance Fund. In response, Labor Minister Guo pledged to strictly enforce a plan for the collection of fund payments from local governments.